Good morning, morning Lancaster, Lancaster Catholic. Catholic. I'm Evan Werner. And I'm Andrew DeBorn. Today is October 2nd, 2015, Day A, Rotation 8-9. If you're a prom committee member, today is your last day to stop in room 113 to tell Ms. Malloy which days you are available to meet. Mock trial meets Monday, October 5th and Wednesday, October 7th at 3 p.m. in room 124. Notify Mrs. Deming ahead of time if you cannot attend. Congressman Joe Pitts is sponsoring Academy Night for any student interested in attending a military academy or ROTC program. It's from 7 to 9 p.m. at Hacks Lancaster Campus. If you need service hours, then Mrs. Christensen has the solution for you. You can babysit needy Catholic families in the area or you can visit nursing homes to sing and play an instrument. Please sign up in room 110. Any student who wants to be a part of the stage crew for the fall play cash on delivery should attend a 15-minute meeting on Thursday, October 8th. It's after school in the band room. It's Friday, and that means we take a look at the week in sports. Here's Lexi Drendel. Congrats to the golf team with a top three finish at the league championships on Monday. Thomas Moran, RJ Van Tash, and Tom Bird led the way for the Crusaders, and Thomas Moran won the LL League low scoring title. Wish them good luck as they go on to districts. The girls field hockey team plays Langster Mennonite today. Go show your support so they can get another win. Boys cross country won against all three schools Tuesday, while the girls won against two out of the three schools. For the boys, the top finishers were Miles McCaskey, Colton Titus, and Christopher Myers. And for the girls, Rosemary Tizino, Caitlin Cambergalos, and Mary Zukas. Tonight, the Crusaders football team faces off against Salenko at Salenko High School. The Mules are one of the top teams in the LL League. Go Crusaders! I'm Lexi Drendel. The morning show has been following some of our summer travels of our students and teachers. Jackie Flick took a trip to the UK. Specifically, I went to England, Ireland, Scotland, and Wales. Well, it was a bus tour, so we went from country to country, and we took ferries between the countries over the English Channel. And a lot of times we toured like the, we went to cities and then also the country rural side. I would say Ireland was my favorite country, country just because of how beautiful and green it was. I think my favorite thing was Edinburgh, which is in Scotland, and we toured the Edinburgh Castle. Well, I did learn about Irish culture and the Celtic dancing, like the traditional dances. I think fish and chips is actually is a traditional food from England. I thought it was really good. Um, in Ireland, we went to this place called Glendalo, and it was like an old graveyard, and that was really cool. I would definitely go to Europe again if, whenever I could. And Mrs. Stanley headed for the most famous national park. <laughs> I went to Yellowstone National Park. Well, a couple of pictures that I sent in, we um, saw mountains, we saw mountain goats, we saw elk. Um, there's lakes, there is hot springs, which are just hot water coming out, leaving mineral deposits. Um, we did some hiking out to uh, several different waterfalls. There's a place called the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone, that's one of the pictures. Um, so it's just a pretty impressive landscaping. We did not see any bears though, I was very sad. I would absolutely go again, in fact, I would love to go back and just spend probably about another week or two out there, it's so large. No, there's so many um, different, it really depends what you're like. If you like waterfalls, there's definitely places to go. If you like climbing mountains, we went up to Mount Washburn, which is 10,000 feet, which is excellent. Um, my recommendations are just always follow what the directions say as far as behaving with the wildlife, following directions, because bear attacks, even though I went to see one, are very real. Um, so safety first. Don't forget to check the written announcements for any late changes or additions. Have, Have a great, great day, day, Crusaders. Crusaders.